Uh, my name is Anitha Varvanathan. I am a professor and program coordinator in the School of Fire Protection at Seneca Polytechnic, and I am one of the winners of the Outstanding Educator Award. I came to Canada when I was four years old. I grew up in Scarborough. I always felt like I wanted to be a teacher. I went to Ryerson, I did my electrical engineering degree, and then when I graduated, I landed a job with a fire protection consulting firm. And my main focus was fire alarm design, as well as building code analysis. So after 10 years, the opportunity at Seneca came up to teach within the School of Fire Protection. I sort of just fell into the industry. Um, I didn't know much about fire protection and like many people I thought fire was firefighting and I didn't really know about this entire engineering technology side of it. So when I graduated from Ryerson I applied to, it, the position was for a fire alarm designer and fire alarm being electrical. So I had applied and I, I got the position and from there this entire career path of fire protection sort of opened up for me. In, within the School of Fire Protection, I teach the fire alarm system courses as well as the Ontario Building Code courses. But Seneca Polytechnic, we're really big on experiential learning. Theory isn't really working anymore. Experiential learning where they get to practice what we talk about, where they actually get to do it, and that I think is like at the core of where they, where they learn the material. So not only in our labs where there's a lot of hands-on content, but also in the classroom, practicing what we're doing. Experiential learning is at the core of my teaching philosophy. We always encourage all of our students to go, go pursue their CET after graduation. It shows the industry what you can do and, and the level of education and work experience that you've established. I think in the industry outside of fire protection and engineering and technology in general, there's a big push for more females and there, there's a lot of female driven outreach events happening. It's a very male dominated industry, which is changing. I'm happy to be a part of it and hopefully be a role model to females around, understanding that they can also join this industry. My advice to females looking for either fire or just the engineering technology industry in general is just go for it. Just bring your best foot forward and, and you'll get the recognition that you deserve. Receiving the Outstanding Educator Award, it's truly an honor. I'm just grateful someone has recognized that like I am passionate for what I do. I love my job, I love teaching others. Honestly, when I'm done with teaching, I just want people to remember me as caring. Like I care that they learn, I care that they want to do better and be better people. Um, so in the end, I just want them to take away their learning outcomes and be able to apply that in the industry.